This little black bear was struggling in the lake, and on closer inspection, it looked different from the bears we usually saw. Its head was actually covered with a large clear glass jar full of water vapor exhaled by the bear, and it looked like it was about to die. At this point, a man rowing a boat approached the bear. In Kenosha County, Wisconsin, USA, the Bryans family was fishing in a lake, enjoying a calm and peaceful day. As they were returning home with a full load, Mr. Bryan's mother spotted a strange black object in the center of the lake. At first Mr. Bryan thought it was a rock in the lake, until he saw the rock was moving, and also accompanied by splashing water, he realized that things were not so simple. Mr. Bryan's father thought it was a dog that was swimming. But Mr. Bryan's wife found the moving rock unusual. The unidentified animal's head covered with a transparent jar. In order to confirm their respective suspicions, the Bryans family steered their boat in the direction of the strange creature in the center of the lake. They were stunned because it turned out to be a black bear cub with a large glass jar stuck on its head. It looked like the bear had accidentally stuck its head into the jar while foraging for food and finally found its head stuck inside when it tried to get out. The panic-stricken bear ran over like a headless fly and accidentally fell into the water. Mr. Bryan saw that the jar was full of water spray caused by the bear's exhalation. It was clear that the bear's head had been trapped in the glass jar for some time. Exhausted. The bear struggled in the middle of the lake, trying to stop the tragedy from happening. Fortunately, the bear met the kind-hearted Bryan family, who were able to help the bear out of danger. After seeing the bear's painful state, Mr. Brian immediately manipulated his fishing boat to try to approach the bear and help it remove the jar from its head. But the bear was afraid of humans at first, plus the pain of being trapped for a long time, and when it saw the human fishing boat approaching, it quickly left in the opposite direction. Mr. Bryan's hands just touched the jar and the bear dodged it again. By this time, the jar on its head had been filled with water and the situation was critical. Mr. Bryan couldn't care much and drove the fishing boat towards the bear again. He stretched out his strong hands, firmly grasped the glass jar on the bear's head, and then pulled it out with force. Finally, this time Mr. Bryan managed to pull down the glass jar stuck on the bear's head. Everyone was relieved. The bear cub finally breathed fresh air again. After a walk in front of the ghostly gate, the bear experienced the joy of regaining its life and swam away happily in the distance. The Bryan family was also very happy, celebrating the bear's new life and wishing it well as it continued to enjoy its life in good health and happiness. The tense atmosphere was swept away and was replaced by the happy smiling faces of Mr. Bryan's family. The stories between animals and humans often make us feel warm and fuzzy. The wild antelope was trapped in the sun, and the kind-hearted man came up to rescue it. Would the antelope understand the good intentions of the man? The sunlight was hot, there were only a few trees on the ground, there was almost no place to cool off, the air was baked by the sun, which was a little distorted. A couple and a friend were on their way to travel when they spotted a wild antelope lying on the side of the road while passing through the reserve. Its hooves were entangled in the barbed wire on the roadside fence, and it fell to the ground, unable to move, only to accept the sun scorching. Waiting in despair for death to come. The man stopped the car, he wanted to rescue the antelope, because he could not see it die like this. He said he would go to the antelope to check the situation. He took a closer look and found that the antelope's hind hooves were tightly wrapped in barbed wire and the deep strangulation marks were frightening to see. He tried to find a way to untangle the hoof without hurting the antelope. He was the first to think of untangling the wire fence with his bare hands, and predictably, he failed. 
He tried to untie the fence by tugging it with his bare hands, but the fence did not move. The man had no choice but to return to get the tools to cut the wire fence at the suggestion of his companion. This blonde was the man's girlfriend, she was giving him tips, it could be seen that she had a lot of rescue experience. She didn't do it herself. Probably because he was concerned about his girlfriend and was afraid she would be hurt by the panicked antelope, so he stepped forward himself. The blonde pointed out that it was only necessary to pull the antelope's legs out of the barbed wire fence to free the antelope. The man took the tools and followed his girlfriend's instructions to rescue the antelope, fixing the wire with his right hand and plucking the antelope's hooves outward with his left hand. The antelope looked a little panicked, it did not know what the human was doing. And did not know if the human was going to hurt it. But in this case it had no way to resist, and could only move its hooves weakly. The man pulled the wire fence upward with force, and the antelope's hoof slowly slid out of the net smoothly. The man shivered with fear. But the antelope did not stand up. The man thought the antelope's hooves were still wrapped around the wire fence and did not come off successfully, so he carefully went up to check whether the antelope's legs were wrapped and confirmed that the antelope's legs had been put down. After confirming that the antelope's legs had been put down, he went up and carefully moved the antelope's horns. The antelope was as motionless as if it had lost all signs of life. But he didn't give up. He tried to help the antelope stand up by dragging the antelope's horns again. The antelope suddenly struggled, which startled the man. After all, the pair of antelope's horns were very huge, and they were usually their proudest weapon. The man saw the antelope struggle a little and did not move, so he went forward again and continued to fiddle with its hooves. Trying to make the antelope realize that it had gotten out of the trap. But the antelope still simply moved twice and did not stand up. The man tossed a lot of sweat, he thought that the antelope might be dehydrated because of the long exposure to the sun. And that it might have struggled hard at the beginning, which led to exhaustion and made the antelope weak. He then brought a bottle of mineral water and half kneeled beside the antelope, feeding the water into its mouth carefully. After feeding the water, the man continued to move the antelope with great effort. Finally, with the efforts of the man and his girlfriend, the antelope finally stood up. The two of them quickly evacuated the scene and watched the antelope slowly go away with uncontrollable joy on their faces. Humans and wild animals live together in this beautiful natural world, and wild animals can be very helpless at times. As highly intelligent animals, we should rescue them when we can, to help them survive better in this world. Animals are not grass. They will also be grateful to humans after being rescued, they will not actively harm humans. Saving wild animals is also saving ourselves. Alright, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to likes and comments if you like. We will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals. See you next time.